One area community is cheering on the Packers with snow, as you can see. Fox 11 has your all-access pass to coverage of the Packers in the playoffs right here on Fox 11. We're out here on the Fox 11 ice desk talking about the unique ways that people are cheering on the Packers, as you just saw in that video. Some people are using snow to kind of carve out their love of the green and gold. Snow and ice, and if that, you, you remember that that might have happened before, well, there was a similar uh, excursion, shall we say, during the Packers uh, Super Bowl journey four years ago. Fox 11's Eric Peterson brings us up to date this evening on what's going on in the snow. It's what you usually see during a Wisconsin winter. I like snow because you can do more with it. But to Jeff Olson of Egg Harbor, falling snow is an art form. The fact that you can get monumental sculptures done in a reasonable amount of time. It all started with a snow sculpting contest when he was in college in the late 1960s. And I never grew up, I still play in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> and he's been chiseling, shaping, and brushing ever since. A sculptor who has competed and won in state and national competitions and even has had a close brush with the Olympics. Yeah, I was, we were an alternate team one year and then another year we finished sixth. But the sculptures he's creating in Menasha's Curtis Reed Square aren't for judging or awards. Get them calling a play here. They're for rallying support for the hometown team and its star quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. He's basically the face of the Packers. Jeff created similar sculptures here four years ago, and they were a hit. We had people coming down here, jumping out of their car, taking their picture with Aaron. But this year, he's hoping people will stop to admire another key player. Uh, let's see now, let's see. None other. He's running. Then Packers running back. He's holding the ball. Eddie Lacy. Okay, so that is a thumb. They've added a running game that they haven't had for a long time. And about four hours later of taking a little off here and a chunk there. All right. Number 27 is nearly complete with flowing dreads, a face mask, and of course, the Packers' G on his helmet. I just think that he's done such a good job this year. The last time his sculptures were here, the Packers won the Super Bowl. And who knows, maybe the same thing will happen this year. I will definitely be rooting for the Packers. <laughs> In Menasha, Pauline Lee, Fox 11 News.